folks, I, I came across this particular story and quite honestly, you know, it just goes uh, to prove in my mind that uh, police are out of control, that uh, some police officers wake up in the morning and make a decision uh, that uh, somebody's going to get killed and uh, they don't care who. If there's a, a black person out there and they have an opportunity to uh, kill them, they're going to do it. But if there's not a black person or a Hispanic person out there, they'll take a poor white person uh, just the same. Um, this particular story has to do with a man who was, albeit driving on a suspended license, uh, a pickup truck that was uh, towing uh, a, a loaded uh, caravan, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it was uh, when they ran his license, they found that uh, his license was suspended and obviously they wanted to uh, pull him over and either arrest him, write him a ticket, do something. But when that information was relayed back into uh, the sheriff in White County, Tennessee, and the officers indicated the action they wanted to take, the sheriff uh, decided that uh, he didn't want his patrol vehicles damaged and that he preferred to uh, shoot the individual. I'm going to play the uh, video from um, Channel 5 uh, in the area of uh, Tennessee and you're going to see for yourself that the sheriff, the guy's name is Odie Shoup, uh, had no regard for the life of uh, the gentleman. He had more regard for the condition of his patrol cars. Here we go. Can a sheriff order the use of deadly force to protect his patrol cars? Video obtained exclusively by News Channel 5 Investigates is raising new questions about a deadly shooting last year. Investigative reporter Ben Hall has the body cam tapes that caught the sheriff's shocking admissions. White County Sheriff Odie Shoup did not realize he was being recorded right after officers shot and killed a man. A deputy was holding a body cam. Neither knew was on. They put the camera in the back of a patrol car. And what it caught the sheriff saying raises new questions about what happened following a two-county police chase and is at the center of a federal lawsuit. The slow speed chase started hours earlier in neighboring DeKalb County. Last April, Smithville police attempted to pull over Michael Dial for driving on a suspended license. He was driving a 1976 pickup, towing a fully loaded trailer. Why didn't stop? He was scared. I know him enough to know that. Robin Dial can't believe how things escalated and that her husband is gone. When I wake up every day and he's not there, it's like going through an hour break. The chase never reached high speed. Cab County deputies later told the TBI it was more like a funeral procession. How fast you think you got it to? Um, we might have gotten to 50 at one point. Um, you know, for the most part, it was somewhere between 30, 40 miles an hour. The cab deputies backed off at the county line, and White County took over. Their deputies tried to stop dial using their patrol car. Reserve Deputy Adam West got involved driving his personal pickup. Rule edge too. Sheriff Odie Shoup was not involved in the chase, but he gave orders to the radio dispatcher authorizing deputies to shoot Dye. Take After that order, you see Deputy West take out his gun. They're on Highway 111 with few cars in sight. Minutes later, deputies push Dial's truck off the road. West gets out of his truck and immediately opens fire. <laughs> Officer Charlie Sims also started shooting. Dial was struck in the head. He was unarmed. I feel with every part of me that that's exactly what they wanted to do was kill him. 
But Dial's lawsuit focuses on what the sheriff said after the shooting to another deputy on that body camera they didn't know was on. I told him I said, take him out. I heard uh, Damn, I don't give a sh It wasn't long after that. I heard I told him. I said, we're we'll ramming. I said, don't, don't ram him, shoot him. Dial is suing White County, the sheriff, Deputy West, and Sparta Officer Sims, claiming they used excessive force. The lawsuit claims shoot preferred to shoot and kill Mr. Dial rather than risk damaging his patrol cars. They don't turn my cars up. They don't think I'll give a damn war to kill that mother <laughs> they put a <laughs> Hey, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here on the damn end, wrong in the damn county. Shoop seemed upset he wasn't there when the shooting happened. I love it. God, I, I tell you what, I thrive. I don't know how you can thrive on taking a human life. That's not law enforcement. Attorney David Weissman said there was no reason to shoot Mr. Dial. And Shoop's comments prove he was more concerned with his cars than Dial's life. If that's the mentality from the highest policy maker in the town, in the county, that's scary. The, the TBI and district attorney ruled the shooting justified. But immediately afterward, Deputy West was clearly upset. Sheriff Shoop told him he did exactly as he was ordered. You don't have to worry about this. I made the decision. You don't have to worry about it. I took that away from y'all. You don't have to worry about that. Robin Dial will never believe her husband needed to die. If you'd have been 10 more miles down the road, he probably would have run out of gas. I just hope he knows I loved it. Shot fired! Shot fired! The DA is standing by his ruling the shooting was justified, but admits he had not heard the sheriff's comments when he made that ruling. The sheriff has declined to comment. Now, you tell me, folks, if that isn't a prime example of cops out of control, and I, I'm not even going to say cops out of control. I'm going to say the sheriff was out of control, and he decided that uh, he was going to... Oh, sorry about that. He, um, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, sheriff decided that he was going to uh, uh, get this guy no matter what. So, as far as I'm concerned, these guys are 100% out of control. They need to, uh, well, at least the DA for sure. And let me hold, hang on a second. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, um, as I was saying, this is just an example of a police chief out of control wanting somebody to die and I do mean that based on his own comments uh, rather than um, having his uh, patrol cars uh, damaged in any way so when we say that uh, the cops are not for the people they're basically for themselves and that uh, the police basically uh, make laws and act uh, based on uh, their own discretions without concern for regular citizens. Here's a prime example. And then what uh, throws additional salt on the wounds is the Civilian Review Board and the district attorney ruled this a justified shooting. How can you justify killing somebody who, number one, is only driving on a suspended license. Number two, you have his vehicle stopped and him out of the car with no weapons. How do you justify killing someone based on those parameters? In my mind, you can't, but as with most district attorneys, they have no problem justifying damn near any action that a police officer takes.